So a couple of days ago, Google just went ahead and launched their free AI powered app builder called as Google Opal. And the best part is that it's completely free to use and you can give some simple text prompts and create AI powered mini apps in no time. And no, you don't have to pay anything. And today in this video, I'll show you Google Opal in action, how to use the platform and also how to create AI powered mini apps just by prompting. So let me quickly jump onto my computer screen and show you Google Opal in action. So this right here is Google Opal. And now to access it, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to opal.withgoogle.com. And now the thing is that Opal is currently in the experimental phase or you could say in the beta phase and it's not globally available in every country. So this right here is the release notes. So if I scroll down, it says now available in public beta. So Opal is brand new and experimental and we are launching today in US only. So that means to access Opal, you have to be in the US. But if you are from elsewhere, don't worry. All you need to do is to enable a VPN and put it to US and then you can just head over to this URL right here click on the sign in button and log in with your Google account and you can still access Opal. And now once you log into Opal, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And it says build, edit and share mini apps using natural language. And now all the apps that you create or all your Opal apps, you can find it in here. Here we have a button to create a new app. And as I scroll down in the gallery section, I'm now able to see a lot of these apps like sample apps that I can actually use. So all of these are apps that has been created using Google Opal. So here we have a blog post writer, book recs, business profile, city games, learning with YouTube, social media posts, video market, etc, etc. So today in this video, I'll show you how we can create an app from scratch by describing it in your own natural language. So first thing first, head over to Google Opal, like visit this URL and make sure you have VPN turned on if you're not from the US. And next up, you gotta click on this button that says create new. So click on the same. So this right here is the app builder interface and it says, let's build your app. Take a look at our demo video. And if you want to, you can actually watch that video. And for example, in this case, let's say I want to create a AI powered image generation app. So users can give a simple text prompt and upon clicking a button, a uh, image should be created based on whatever prompt that they give. So first of all, I'll give this app a name so I can go ahead and say AI image gen. So this right here is my app name. And next up, all I have to do is to describe exactly what I want to build in this input box right here. You have two options. You can either go ahead and type or let's say describe the app that you want to build in this input box right here, or you can even dictate or let's say speak your app idea and build it that way as well. So this right here is the prompt I'll give and it says an AI powered image generator app where users can enter a prompt and click a button to create images. And now this is the prompt or the initial prompt I'll give. And now I'll click on the send button. So there you go. Within seconds, Opal has created our app. And basically what happened is that it just went ahead and analyzed our prompt and added all these nodes in here. So we start with the input box to enter the text prompt and then generate the image and display the same. So that is basically all the nodes that we have. So basically this app builder or Opal is a node based app builder. So you will have a user input, then generation or processing part and then showing the output. So as you can see here, we have user input, generate output, add assets, all of that is in here. And now what happens is that when you go ahead and give a text prompt, the AI itself will actually add all these nodes and create the workflow or the app for you. And now as you can see, the app is ready. And now I can find a preview of the same towards the right side in here. So it says preview and it also says start. And now before I show you the actual preview of the app, let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video, TestBrite. Manual testing is slow, expensive and error prone. And most of the teams spend more than 40% of their time just writing test cases. Meet TestBrite, the world's first fully autonomous AI software testing agent. So imagine automating your entire testing process from generating the test cases and writing code to executing tests, diagnosing issues and even suggesting fixes all with minimal effort. This is where TestPride comes into play. It automatically generates the test code, run both front-end and back-end test, debug issues and deliver a detailed report, cutting testing courses by up to 90%. To get started, you can either use TestSprite's web interface or the MCP tool in your IDE like cursor. Just sign up on TestSprite and add the TestSprite MCP tool to cursor. And now you can just ask cursor to run a full test using TestSprite. And now within minutes, it will now run a complete full backend and frontend test and shows you the results instantly. And the best part, TestSprite suggests fixes so that Cursor can itself fix the problems without you having to do anything. You can even schedule tests on TestSprite's web interface so that it will automatically run tests for you and send the complete report to your email. And now you can visit testsprite.com to check out the ultimate AI powered testing agent in action. Now back to the video. And now just to show you a demo, I'll make this a bit bigger. And now it says AI image gen and it is a name that we gave. And and I'll click on the start button 
and now it says enter your descriptive text prompt so i can simply go ahead and say a futuristic sci-fi city with let's say flying cars so this is the prompt i'll give and now i can click on the send button right here and now as you can see it says generating images and as you can see we entered the prompt in here and now it is making use of the second node that is generating the images and i believe we are actually using the image and 4 a model to generate the image okay so that part is also done so image generation is done and it is now generating interactive ui with image okay so let's wait for it all right so it seems like it has actually taken me to a page and it says ai image generator and now i can find a input box along with a button to generate image so it seems like i'll have to click on this button right here to view the generated image okay so i'll click on this button right here and now this is where the actual image generation process is beginning is what i guess okay all right so i get it so basically the image generation process actually happens in here but this right here is a dummy input area and as soon as i click on this generate image button only then i'll be able to see the image and there you go here we have the image of this sci-fi like futuristic sci-fi city with flying cars and look at that okay if i want to i can open the image in a new tab and download and save it so basically this is the flow of using opal to create a mini app so in this case we just went ahead and gave a simple prompt to create a image generator app now in your case it could be a different prompt and now as opposed to all these regular let's say app builders that you have seen opal is completely different it is actually something similar to let's say n810 where you build something by connecting nodes so up to the top you can find a user input node so if you click on this option right here it adds a node like this right you can now give a prompt or customize this node however you want next up we have a generate node where you can actually set something like you want to generate text or let's say you want to generate images videos whatever that be you have you can go ahead and add a generate node so if you click on this drop down menu right here you will be able to select the AI model and the functionality that you want to implement so if you want to let's say add some text generation uh, feature into your app you can use either of these four you know uh, models or if you want to let's say implement image generation then you can use image and four or if you want to let's say do video generation then you can use vo or if you want to do audio generation or let's say sound generation you can use Lyria too so that's basically how it works and now you can also add an output node and basically you connect these nodes together and create the app i know no one really wants to build the app like manually collecting all these nodes so to make your life a whole lot easier opal gives you the option to just prompt and create all these nodes so basically you give a prompt and opal itself will add all these nodes configure it and show you the final output and now if you want to make any changes well you have options for that too and next up as i scroll down i can now find a couple of these apps that other people have created in the gallery section right here i know if i want to i can actually use them and even remix them for example here we have one called as video marketer so let me open it up real quick so okay it says this opal app is not editable and please remix it to make changes so this is basically how it looks and as you can see it is a bit more complex one i know it says create a video ads with your product and target audience so it seems like it is going to use the vo3 a model to create videos based on the input that you give so here we have all these notes up in here you can find all this prompt and then okay so it is using vo to generate the image based on the video description okay so if you want to you can explore all these workflows and apps by heading over to this gallery section in here as well so to create a new one you click on this button right here and create an app just by prompting and now if you want to use an existing one you can explore the same from the gallery section right here so basically this is the flow of using opal to create mini ai powered apps so you can click the link in the description below head over to opal.withgoogle.com and if you're outside of us just use a vpn to access the same sign in using your google account and you can start creating apps using google opal and now that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.